Hi everyone. I am happy to be in Minnesota at the end of a long um, weekend training called the Dragon Training. It's been amazing and I met some really great people, spent a lot of time out in the woods and I um, yeah, I got to interact with some beautiful farm animals. There's horses and a miniature donkey and some really friendly chickens who live here. The rooster's going nuts back there. So yeah, it's been a special weekend and um, so, so much uh, moving and coming, um, excited about what's to come. And so um, today, when I pull my card, I was happy to see the crocodile and really taken its message and its medicine through the process of working with, um, you know, this, this dragon energy, archety archetypal energy. So let's tune in and, and see what is here to receive from the crocodile. And hi, Maria. I see a couple names popping up. So. Go ahead and lower your eyes and come into your breath. And just start with three nice deep breaths all the way into your belly. There's many references to the fire in our bellies. And that inner fire, of the reptiles that lives in us. So bring your breath all the way down as far as you can draw it down. And now I want you to bring your attention to the back of your brain, this area that we think of as being kind of more of our primal, more reptilian brain center and as you bring your attention into that place right kind of in the small of the back of your your head where your where your spine connects your skull sort of bring into your consciousness the energy of crocodile and what it might represent to you if you've had any significant encounters with with live crocodiles in your life or perhaps you've had sort of a connection whether it be a, a love connection or a fear connection with that essence of, of crocodiles and just kind of bring all of that forward as you're focusing on that point in the in the back of your head And then from that point in your body, I invite you to feel yourself coming out of your body, the energy of you sort of floating up and out, but staying connected to that, that point in the back of your skull and find yourself floating in the ocean in a area of salt water where it's just so salty it just carries you it's just so easy to float there and it's also an area where crocodiles live and thrive and so feel that you're safe you're protected there's no threat at all that you can just be in the essence of your human body connected with your reptilian brain and let your heart connect with the essence of the crocodiles who live in this space of the spaciousness of water and the support of just resting and suspending in that salt water and how just peaceful it is to really let yourself go in that space. 
So all the things that have been, that you've been creating, uh, all that's been coming through you, all of the projects you have going on and the ideas that you've been bringing into form, you can just feel that none of that's with you in this moment, that that's all fallen away. And it's simply you resting, being held by the water. And this is the medicine that Krakata has for us in this moment. You know, for me at the end of this long weekend, integrating all that I've learned and experienced. Will I allow myself to simply rest now? Go ahead and ask yourself that same question. What is calling for you to rest and what does that look like for you? Really tangibly, hold it in your mind. What would that mean? Does it mean hopping off Facebook right now? You know, and going and, and um, indulging in a little extra self-care. Or maybe it's not indulgence. Maybe it's just very simply that you need to get more sleep tonight. You know, what is that thing that you can, oh yeah, you know what it is. You don't have to try that hard. It's on the surface. You can almost guarantee it. And so with that, I invite you to commit to yourself in this moment and to commit to crocodiles. Say, you know, I heard you. Thank you for your animal medicine. And I'm going to honor you by participating and by actually creating a space for rest in my life. And that is a way that we can bow to a crocodile right now. Hi, Karamia. Hi, Brandy. Whoever else is around. So, thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope that you gained something from connecting your heart in this way. I really, truly do. I'd love to hear if you would share in the comments what is the, what is the one thing that you're going to do to really rest and take care of yourself. And as always, if you enjoy this, please share it with a friend, like it. What are the other things? I don't know. Subscribe to me, blah, blah, blah. You guys know what to do if you're, if you're into the animal medicine meditations. Thank you, thank you. Lots of love from Minnesota. See you all soon, I hope.